In this video I will show you how to kill hard drive. Imagine opening one file and creating file chain reaction, that will create hundreds of thousands of new files with random names. This file will be copying itself into hundreds of thousands of new files with random names and run every one of them. Every new file will be doing exactly the same thing, and this will be file chain reaction that no one can stop. Expect turning off PC. I will also show you how quickly it's eating storage memory. How does it work? Name must be created randomly to avoid replacing existing files. That's why we don't enumerate them. I decide to 10 signs file name. This is most complicated part of this code. For this example let's create 10 new file names. Of course you can change this number, you will see later. Here is code. Here is new file name. Dots will be replacing by random signs. Exe extension will stay forever so we don't have to writing it all the time. This var also will be inside data section, so filling it up will be faster than filling up locker var on stack. You can change this value but remember about maximum path length limitation and about changing size of file name and filling it correctly. Here are examples code of 20, 30 and 40 signs of new file name and as many files. Here we are deciding what type of char it will be by switch and random number from 0 to 7. If random number is 0 then our new sign will be digit. So we have 10 digits from 0 to 9 and we have to draw one of them. It's this round. But why we are adding it to this hex? In ASCII table digit starts at this point and ends here. There are exactly 10 of it. In other words we are converting digit into digit char. Same situation in case 1. Here we are getting capital letters. There are 20 sacks of them. In ASCII table they are starts here and ends here. That's why this random number is from 0 to 25. Then we have to add it to the start point of capital letters. In other words we are just converting index of capital letter into char letter. Case 2 is random lowercase letter. Also 26 of them also getting one of them and adding it to start in SC table like you see. Case 3 is just minus sign. Case 4 plus sign. Case 5 equals sign. Case 6 floor sign. Let's run it and see if it's work. We have 10 new names. And every time you will run this app, you will get different results. Watch this. We have unique names all the time. And here is an example of 20, 30 and 40 character file names and the same number of new files. If we have new file name it's time to copy itself into it. To do this we need argv0 which contains path of currently run file. This app is created in GCC so size of it is about 100 kilobytes. One tenth of megabyte. So 10 file took immediately one megabyte. Twenty two megabytes, thirty three megabytes, and so on. Countless number of files will took countless number of megabytes. That's why it's hard disk killer. Ten second challenge.
Like you see after 10 seconds, we have lot of files and lot of memory. Notice that all of these files was created only by one file. Imagine what was happened when every new file will be doing the same. If new file is completed, it's time to run this file and whole process will be repeating over and over. This line will run our new file as a new process and this process start creating new files over and over. I won't run this version this time. In some future videos I will show you how it's work and give you some good advices. Of course full version of this demo you will find on my github, but please don't run this. Of course it's just demo version, full version copying itself into all possible directories on every hard drive available. Thanks for watching, stay safe and always pay attention to file extension.